we're good. Afternoon, everyone. How are you all doing today? Doing pretty nice myself, I must say. Holiday is going smashingly so far. Absolutely smashingly. So, uh, hoping to continue having a good time. Sure I will. Sure I will. I usually do on these streams, even when I get annoyed. <laughs> hey, Walker, nice to see you. Uh, good to see you straight in there. That's brilliant. Excellente. So, last time, we had a rather nice time. We had a very productive day. We got pretty much everything on Flatlands finished. And we're up to 48% completion for the region. Which is pretty darn good as well. So, I've been looking at what I need to do. And... I really, really, really think that there is one particular mission that is holding me back right now, and it's this one here. Um, there's prep, and then there's prep. This seems to lock quite a lot of the remaining contracts that we've got, and certainly for like further progression in Pipeline Bay, this does seem to be um, rather an important one. So, I have taking the fan out of storage. It's now up here at the gateway to pipeline. Um, it's carrying a lot of metal. Um, yeah, it's carrying a lot of metal for that quest. So we'll, we'll get to that shortly. But before I get there, uh, there is a roadblock here that I really want to get fixed. Um, and in order to do that, I need a truck with a trailer, or at least a truck with a trailer would be a helpful addition on this map, which is why I've come over here with the pike, because this close miss will give us the trailer. Which is fantastic, so we're going to do that, the roadblock, then we're going to do that prep mission. That is the plan for the get-go, and then we'll see where the day takes us, I think. There are several different things that I could possibly do today, so we'll just see what takes our fancy. Uh, did you see the new upcoming Atom DLC? I... Oh, yes! The, um, the new as of 6.1, uh, as I'm going to start calling it, because that thing looks interesting. Um, yeah, the new as of 8x8 uh, standalone DLC, paid DLC. Um, very much strikes me as an Azov 6, um, but a bit beefier. Similar looks, similar kind of layout, a bit more powerful maybe, something like that. Actually kind of interested in that truck, that's, um, I don't usually pay for a lot of DLCs, uh, well, I do, on this game. Because, you know, I've got to try these trucks out for tier lists and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't usually get incredibly excited about them, should I say. Um, this new one, the Atom, could be good. Could be really good. So. Better make a start. So, I need to grab this pipe bring it back to the road, or at least uh, get it back in the trailer. I'm quite sure what my best sort of routine for this is going to be. I think just turn myself around and kind of try not to be in a position where I could fall over. That's probably um, probably going to be the best bet. Ah, going to be like the Phoenix a little bit. Huh, interesting. No crane option. Flatbed. Hmm. Oh, well. Still, still interested. Still definitely interested. I think it is going to be... 
Yes, I did notice that walker. Yeah, it's got a, a unique maintenance frame of some sort and another one. I can't actually remember what it was now. It was a couple of days since I um, actually looked at the DLC. But uh, yeah, should be good. Right, uh, mm. <laughs> really not made this easy for myself at all, have I? Three slot bed, ah, that was it. That was it indeed, yes. That's going to be nice. An Azov with a three slot bed. I do hope its fuel values are kind of respectable, you know. I mean, they don't have to be the most amazing thing in the world, just so long as they're better than the um, the Azov 5, I think I will be quite happy. Okay, that's not working at all there, is it? These huge pipes are an absolute nightmare to Uber. But that might be okay. Right. Anchors first, then the crane. properly situated eventually. Just you wait. <clears throat> there we are. Much better. Right. Brain away. Let's get this hooked up and delivered. Start the day as we mean to go on with success. say don't you dare fall off that would not be good crazy pipe right a little bit of an angle right so grab this then we're gonna head over to the warehouse and grab a few supplies Namely, we need the stuff to fix the bridge, or the roadblock, and a few of the bits of cargo as well. Okay. There's the drop-off for this. Hey, Bart, nice to see you. How's it going? Oh, marvellous. Right. Hey, thanks once again for the sub there, Bart. Much appreciated. That is the task for this, so that's fine. So let's drop it off here. Boom. Marvellous. Well, you know, Bart, it's it's my holiday. I thought I'd uh, add a little bit of extra time. The, the, the reason I usually only do two hours during the week is because I'm at work, you know? So, as I'm not at work, but uh, extend it out a little bit. So now... We need to blast over to the other side of the map to the warehouse with our newly gotten trailer. We're going to get a couple of medium planks and a couple of metal rolls.
Uh, I have two weeks, Walker. This week and next week. Um, so, ten days in total. Or ten working days. Good grief. Nineteen months. You've been waiting for approval for your project, Bart. That's... That's pretty crazy, if you ask me. But then I suppose if it's a big corporate project, that's... That's probably quite speedy for a big corporate project. <laughs> Who knows? Not me. I ain't been involved in anything like that, I will say. Well outside of my wheelhouse. Ah, uh, work council got involved. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll slow things down. Yeah, that, that, that'll do it. Mike's high gear. It is terrible. Probably found that out already, but I keep forgetting. Distinctive sound of the pike. I like it. It's, uh, I like the pike. It's plucky. You know? You put it next to pretty much any other truck in the fleet, and it's like this big. Minuscule. It's more like a minnow. But, it's a darn good vehicle all the same. That's the wrong winch point game. Okay. <laughs> Sounded like a tractor. Yeah, that's, that's that's fair. That is fair. Right. Just double check exactly where I'm going here. So. Uh, oh, right. Okay. So, yeah. There. There. Along there. Gas station. And then warehouse. Perfect. That's how we need to go. Yeah, it's, uh, I figured start here in reactive zone get this prep mission done as quickly as possible then we can move on to we might just move on to Pipeline Bay then at that point I'm not sure it uh is that the road I need? that is not the road I need that is the road I need Yeah, I think, though, that there are, once this prep mission has been done, there's another couple of missions that it unlocks, and then those missions then unlock everything, pretty much. I think that's kind of how it goes, if I remember rightly, so... try and avoid the mud pits because you kind of disappear into them you weeny tires and all that
mud. Come on, get out of this pit. That's it. That's it. Much better. there quite a bit but no matter we're on the open road now Pike really is such a nice trailblazer you know when it's got a smooth run like this it just off, you know. There we are, right. Oh man, really? Who put those concrete blocks there? Inconvenient, that is. warehouse and then we will double check what we need but I believe that it's two medium planks two metal rolls we need uh, so uh, another roadblock that's what we'll do first two medium planks yep and then the prep work mission two metal rolls so, wooden planks, medium planks, one and two, and then we'll unpack those, for a moment. I can do... That. And pack those back up and go to metal rolls. Oh, what? Wait, what? What did it? Oh, man. Why did, why did it do that thing? Down there, you freak. Okay, in this case, oh yeah, there we go, okay, boom, and loading platform, backpack, perfect, that's much better, much, much better. Go. Come on. Spin round on me there. Um, it wasn't that it auto loaded um there, Walker. What what happened was I tried to push the planks to the end of the trailer so that when I packed them again, they'd pack on the lower t on the furthest slots, and I could then pack um a roll here. But when I went to pack them again, it shunted them forwards. Which was not really what I wanted it to happen. Um, so, yeah, a little bit odd, but. It's not really where I wanted the crane, but.
that. I don't even know what I'm trying to do anymore. Just kind of press that down. Store it in. Maybe I'd just be better just putting it straight on the roof. Now, the Pike's roof is pretty, pretty catastrophic, actually, so... here is the best spot. This is not going well at all. That's better. Right. Flip it over proper. Okay, pop it down there. That works. There. And clamp it. Oh. No. Clamp it like that. Okay. That that should work. That should be okay. Hopefully. <clears throat> I just hope that doesn't get in, w in the way of my steering. But uh, it shouldn't. I hope. Actually, it, it kind of is a little bit. Restricting the, the amount of lock that I can get on, but... As long as I don't need to make any s crazy manoeuvres, I should be alright. Did I do this again? What was I trying to do? I don't even know. Caused myself no end of problems. That's what I was trying to do. No doubt. Get round on this bit of ground just here. Okay, okay. Okay, that's working. Okay, that was... better than I expected, worse than I hoped. Or something like that. I'm not quite sure what I was going for there. Okay. Okay. Now, I think the only problematic spot might be the river. There are a few tight turns there. I might have to readjust where I'm carrying this roll because it is actually affecting my maneuverability at the moment. Oh. Wait, where'd the digger go? Was there, was there not a digger there? I thought there was a big... Ah. Never mind, my brain's playing tricks on me again. Right, where'd this road go? Just uh, here. Perfectus. We still get some good steering on, but just it's kind of fused the truck and the trailer into one thing. Like, there's no articulation in the middle anymore. It's just one long entity.
out. Rocks. Effect. There we are. Power, some speed. Right. Fantastic. You were using the 990. Interesting. I suppose actually in this kind of terrain, the 990 would perform quite well, wouldn't it? It's not particularly deep mud. Not particularly shallow mud either, for that matter, but it's shallow enough, I suppose, for it to, uh, for it to do quite well. Yeah, yeah, that's that's just what I was saying there, Walker. The 990 is not good for muddy situations, but like simple hauling and stuff on relatively, it's like it excels on off-roading. I would say the 990. I mean, I've not used it yet, but just from looking at it and what it's got available to it, I would assume that, you know, like, dirt tracks are probably where it's best, you know. Used it on Ontario. Hmm, yes. That's actually not bad. Ontario is not that muddy, if I remember right. Mikey, it has been a while since I did Ontario, but yeah, it's not particularly muddy, it's just um, some, there's some fair distances to drive, say. Okay, roadblock. Coming up. Clears out. Oh yes, this should clear out the road entirely. Cargo. One, two, thank you very much. So pack crane. Plop. Right, restore that. Pack that. Now, we need the prep mission. There we go. Uh, could I use... I suppose I actually could, couldn't I? I could actually go... I could go and get the cement whilst I'm here, but I think I'll drop off the, the rolls first. Just to, to save myself headache, you know? Probably have looked for a better point to do a three-point turn here, but alas, this is what we have. Lovely. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Metal rolls coming in. Actually, I could probably use the fem to get the uh, cement. That would probably be a better, better thing to do. More suited to off-roading the fem. The fem fatal. Chip damage going crazy. Well, but 
more than I'd like. do with bringing some fuel down here to this plant. It might not be a bad shout because I do know that there's quite a lot of stuff that needs delivering to this location. Hey Bonnie! Or Bonnies? Hello, welcome! Sit down, put your feet up. Pour yourself a drink of whatever beverage of your choice is, and uh, enjoy. Nice to see you. Right, let's get this delivered first. Two of those, and pull this out of the way. Actually, there was something else there in that drop-off. What was that that it was asking for? Cement, metal, oh, it was just the metal rolls. Okay, I thought it was actually asking for something else, but seemingly not. Okay, now we can bring this guy down. I'm not doing too badly, Bonnie. Thank you very much for asking. How about yourself? Or is it a bit unsteady, the 990? Well, to be fair, there's only a very few select trucks that are inherently stable, you know, beyond any kind of doubt. Um, yeah, most are a little bit wobbly in one way or another. Uh, I'm in Scotland, Bonnie. Don't sound Scottish though. Um, it's actually born in Yorkshire, in England. Um, but living in Scotland now, Scottish twang comes out every so often. Depends what I'm saying, you know. Canada. Ah, I have some other people from Canada um, who drop by to watch my videos on occasions. May You may see some today, may not. Always fancied going to Canada as a holiday. Seemed like it would be a cool place. That's the other side of the mountain, that. Just checking. Actually, let me just double double check. Yeah, this warehouse doesn't have anything we need. That's cool. Well, let's just move it on. Hmm. It does seem like a fun place, Canada. I, I will say. I mean, you know, if you enjoy having a lot of snow. <laughs> a lot of snow, Canada. Most of Canada, probably all of Canada, I'd imagine, gets snow at some point in the year. Um, yeah, sounds like a fun place to visit, that's for sure. Right, uh, just, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, for those wondering where the Femme actually came from here, it was in the garage on uh, Pipeline. I took it up to the metal factory with its trailer, um, reconfigured it to have the four slot bed, um, took it up to the metal factory, loaded it up with beams and brought it over to the gateway, basically. Just cutting down on a little bit of travel time, you know? It was very uneventful. Um, just 
a good old long drive. It does look quite pretty at times, this game, yes. It certainly does. Some nice effects. They've been improving it as time goes on, for sure. But it does have some nice effects to it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Drop these beams off, then we'll go and get the cement. Uh, we won't need the trailer for that, thankfully. We'll just take the fem up to that warehouse, grab that, and then we'll see what that unlocks. Because I, as I was saying earlier, I think that unlocks two other missions. Uh oh, Bonnie! Please don't do it to me. I know those words. I've been asked them very many times before. It usually follow. It usually is accompanied by a sales pitch. Read my rules. No sale in my chat, please. Um, but if not, I do play some other games. This is my primary game. They designed a... Damn, that must be a fast drone. I know drones can get up to some fair speeds these days, but that is insane. Keeping up with Formula One cars, because that's... um. What? Uh... What kind of speed is that? That's several hundred miles an hour. Potentially at times. Depending on the circuit. Yeah. Mikey. I might actually have to look that up. But that is that does sound rather insane. Three hundred and twenty kilometers an hour. Good grief. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Right. Let's uh if I go down here I can come back up again. 200 miles an hour. That sounds about right. It's about 1.6 kilometers to a mile, so. Yeah. 200 would be an extra 60% on top, so. Yeah, about 120. So, yeah, about 200 miles an hour. That, uh, that, that does sound correct. Right. Leave our trailer there. And we'll head into the hills to get the cement. I believe the turn is just... Is that it there? Uh, yes, yes it is. So, up to there, up to there, up to there. Marvellous. Okay. In the dark, of course, as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Going this way. This way. Go. The, the Fem's driving when you're on. Whoa, don't do that. Fem's driving when it's on full lock is disturbing. You know? It really is quite disconcerting. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Ooh. Which way am I going? Ah, right, okay. To the right. Actually, to the right, to the right. Oh. I brought the pike now. This is not a very friendly road for the pike steer for the um, the fem steering. 
I will say that is the only thing holding this truck back from being a super monster of biblical proportions, I would say. Um, yeah. Steering on the Femme is awful. Actually awful. I hate it. <laughs> it's it's the truck's worst feature by far. But everything else is pretty darn amazing. You've got a challenge for me, Walker. What might that be? I'm always up for a wee little challenge, depending on what it is. Steering is just unresponsive at the best of times. That's how I would describe the FEM steering. It's jittery, jittery, and sluggish. Not a combination that you really want. Using the GMC. Okay, with a crane, a low saddle trailer, and the jet off-road tyres, or the jet tyres off-road. I think that could possibly be doable. I actually have a GMC in my garage at the moment. I sold the original one that you get on... Um, uh, What's it called? Black River. See, I'm full left lock and it's not turning. That's not cool. Not cool, truck. Um, but yeah, I sold the original one I have, but I do have a spare in the garage because you get one on Ontario, I do believe, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. No, no. That. Uh... Come on. Not that winch point, you silly thing. The one that I'm looking at, right over there. There we go. Hey, thank you, Bonnie. Glad you're enjoying it. I, by the way, I... I will say, if you weren't gearing up for a sales pitch, then I do apologise. It's just usually when people ask me that kind of thing, um, they're trying to sell me something, uh, like graphics or something like that. So, I mean, if that, uh, if, that was, if that was not your intent, you were just asking a genuine question, then I do apologise. I am very sorry. Uh, I just wanted to try and preempt any issues. But I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. That's good. I usually stream Wednesday and Sunday, at the moment, anyway. <sighs> uh, what are you saying there, Walker? Uh, with no OG off-road tyres. Hmm. Three and four. Perfect. Right. Okay, what we got here? Ah, spin me... Oh. 
Oh, wow. Hang on a second. They want me to deliver that already? They want me to deliver the stator already. And four multi-stage pumps. Where even is the stator? Huh. I do believe I did... Oh, is it on pipeline? Not on pipeline. Where's the stutter? Did I not find it yet? Or is it just hidden somewhere? And I'm not seeing. Uh huh. Where is, hang on, where is the stutter? I'm not seeing it anywhere. There's usually like a little ring or something like that. It's saying it's in pipeline. But I go there and there's nothing here. Hmm. Port. And it's just a tank. And there's a fuel carrier there. Yeah, that's better. Right, uh, is that it? Your gut feeling was right. What, you mean it's at the port? No. It's on pipeline, though, by the look of it. That looks like it right there. In fact, I'll be able to tell immediately if I just go here. And then, uh, yep, it's just over there. To back this guy out of the way, and then we'll have to find a suitable truck to tow that. Indeed. Uh, which is the one that we used the original off-road tyres on as well? Uh, I'm not quite sure what you're saying there, Walker. Um, hang on a second. Let me... Let me have a look. GMC. Here we go. Let's have a look here. So the tires that you're that you're talking about here, the off-road, the off-road jats. Uh, the OMDs, which is the one we use the original off-road tires all the time. Yeah, the OMDs, these tires, eh? Pretty good, to be fair. Wonder if we could tow the stator with the GMC. Hmm. Not sure if I want to do that or not. That could be quite a mission. They say the number threes are the best. Yeah, there are some minor differences between them. Uh, one one of them is usually slightly slightly better off road. One of them is slightly better mud. One of them tends to be in the middle somewhere. Um. Huh. Yeah, because the regular UODs. Are they the same kind of width? They look the same kind of width, don't they? Yeah. Put a pair of those on it. Um, I don't know. This thing can have a high saddle, can't it? I wonder if I should try towing the stator. 
um, with the GMC is um, am I actually asking for trouble doing that or not <laughs> it could be fun to try it out though <coughs> honestly I'm, I'm kind of kind of tempted to try this out uh, engageable all wheel sell that snorkel um, won't bother with the spare tire engageable diff lock go Got the tires suspension oh wow boing tips like the 990 hmm I wonder if I should just keep the regular suspension on it then I don't think I'm gonna need raised suspension yeah we'll uh Go for the off-road gearbox and then we've got the yeah let's try that Ooh, that's kind of cool looking i like that steel fenders i didn't even know that was an option yeah i like that it's just something about it, it says yes i like that And let's put that steel's a nice one, maybe. Yeah, let's go for that one. All right. This is going to be an interesting experience. For a start, I haven't used the GMC in absolutely ages uh, and the first thing I'm going to do with the GMC is tow this mammoth of a thing with me this is going to be oh that's a boat this is going to either go really nice. well or really terribly Wait. Way short there. Crikey. Excuse me, that that's like a huge like electromagnet kind of thing. Okay. Oh my just getting it out of this car park's gonna be an absolute nightmare. Yep. Yeah, thought so. Right. take a very odd line with it. Let's get it out of here. I don't even know if I can oh, put a crane on this with this saddle. But that's not a bad idea. To maybe try and look to see if I can get a crane. straight out of this gate. Let's get this to the road first and then we'll see what our next move is because might might not be a bad idea having a crane. But then again, a crane will add weight. And I think we've got enough of that already. So I I'm gonna skip the crane. I think I actually have to sky. Okay. 
to be fair, probably the hardest part of the entire journey is going to be this section here. And that's uh, that's also a very good shout part. Um, yeah, I'm, I might need a rescue, depending on how well this goes. No, so far, so good. Right. Come on. Come on. There we go. I actually have to start using this thing more often. That's actually pretty impressive so far. Maybe not to do this kind of work, but uh, kind of a trial by fire almost in a way, but... Oh, a roof rack would be rather nice. Yeah, for sure, Bart. Come on. Come on, camera. Come on. That's it. It wasn't the GMC that couldn't pull there, it was the trailer that got wedged on a on a rock face. So to be honest, the it's actually doing a lot better than I thought it would. This is actually a lucky little performance from this thing. system going all the wonk here. Yeah, I I think if I had given this the raised suspension, it would have been far too stable. And given that we're not actually tackling rocks, just a lot of mud and grooves, get up on this bank here, that's what I need to do so that I can actually get some firmer grip. Come on, Come on GMC, there you go. Atta boy. Oh, oh, ah, ah, no, what? Darn you trailer. That wasn't the GMC, that was the trailer for It all, honestly. Oh well. At least the cat is right here. We will the cat, never mind anything else. Right. Okay. On oh, really. That's better. Let's be happy there. And it was all going so well. Oh, well, you could have told me that earlier, Walker. <laughs> no, I, I kind of had that impression from it um, earlier on. Uh, simply because it was... Like, the, the trailer seemed top-heavy. Um, <laughs> the trailer did seem a little bit top-heavy as I was going through this kind of bit here. It was swaying quite a lot. Um, so as soon as I kind of noticed that it was going over, I was like, ah, well, that's me done. 
<laughs> I cannot recover from that. Not a chance. But I should be able to tip this back over. It shouldn't be... Uh, I just hope they don't mind their, their new generator being a little bit, you know, bloody. It's going to be quite bloody. Right. Let's see where we can grab a winch. Okay. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's it. Up you come. Come on. Oh, if only I could get... Tires aren't gripping because of that darn rock. There we go. That's us. Boom. Now that's the wrong way round. Just out of range. I'm always just out of range, aren't I? That's just annoying. wanted to top off the fuel tank, but no. Now I've got to go all the way around here in order to be close enough. Naturally. Oh, uh, um, um, right. You know what? No. 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 Bad trailer. Get back. That one. That one. <laughs> right. There we go. We're off again. Just see that falling over before my eyes, you know. I am in the worst part of the mud at the moment. You know, this is the worst section. Once we're over to the uh, the cabin factory, we shouldn't have a problem with the rest of the trip. I'm actually stunned that the GMC is doing as well as it is, you know? points going. Yeah, it's it's keeping the speed down, but it's also keeping the um, diff lock on. Because I'm I'm kinda needing it in this situation. swampy ground to cover, shall we say. Ah, okay. So far, so good. GMC 
empty. Left. Left, please. That's better. Having to make a lot more sort of winch than I'd like, but we are we are progressing. I actually think the GMC had it in it, but so far so good. Turn left. Oh, not that much. One more swamp to cross. Big one, but perhaps not quite as swampy as the one we just went through. I'm not sure. That statement could be complete and utter tripe. the cat is local in case we need a rescue. This thing's huge. Tree, tree, oh, messing up my Christmas right now. Okay. Okay. I kind of wanted to take the right hand path there, but the left one will have to do. Has caught something. Please don't tell me it's run aground or something daft like that. There we go. Maybe it was just a, tr a log or something like that. The water log that was catching something. Don't you dare. Stay put, mister. I think I'm going to be dragging this thing back to the, the garage with another truck here. Useless thing. Come on. Of course, now it doesn't have enough power to grip on the road. That's uh, it. Clear. I think. Sorry if I'm missing messages. By the way, I'm just really focused right now. I will. I will get back to chat in a second.
Alright, GMC, now for what you're good at. Good old road transit. I'm, I'm, I'm actually flabbergasted, you know. I knew the GMC was a pretty decent truck, you know, as as you know as a as a kind of a baseline truck goes, but I wouldn't have thought it would have been capable of something like this. Oh, right. Turn them off before we go anywhere. Steal the fuel out of that roof rack. Just so that we've got a little bit extra. We ain't going to be passing any fuel before we get to... Reactor building. Ah, right. Let me just check chat here. Uh, the first gem you, see, you find has the west line and most people sell it without realising the top engine. Ah, ah. That's a good point. Actually, this thing had the top engine in it as well, to be fair. Um, so this one that you get in Ontario must have been must be the same. Um, in that you know you, you it comes with the best engine. It's quite nice. Oh, now we're just cruising. Look at that. Nine, ten, eleven liters of fuel a minute. That's perfectly reasonable. Pottering along at a good pace, towing this massive thing behind us. Crikey. I must say, I was not expecting to be delivering this thing so soon. I thought this would be, like, one of the much later missions. So, yeah. That's kind of exciting. Oh, yeah, I'm not taking this thing through the swamp. I am sticking to the road and we'll go round. We've cleared it out already, you know. The roadblock has been removed, so um, other than just watching ourselves on corners and, you know, things that might snag the trailer, I think we should be alright. Take corner too tight and roll this trailer into a ditch. That would be bad. Beautiful. Oh. Now I've got to find out where I get those multi-stage pumps from. I have a feeling they were on flatlands. I have a feeling they were only on flatlands as well. Are they two or one slot cargoes though. That is the that is the big oh uh oh. That is the big question. Okay, it seems to be okay. It seems to be okay. Um, but yeah, the multi-stage pumps, that's the new cargo for this map, isn't it? And I have no idea if it's a one or a two slot cargo. If it's a one slot, then I do have the um, very long horn on pipeline that I could send through to Flatlands to get it, but if they're two slot cargoes, that might be slightly more problematic. It's foiled me. What am I getting jammed up on something? I think it's just...
it's getting jammed on this uh, on this uh, crane thing here, JCB. Take it a bit wider. Go. Don't you dare tip. Don't you dare. Much better. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Mini jam there. Oh. running on fumes by the time we get there. I'm glad I took that fuel out of the Wrangler's roof rack because I most certainly need it. This 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 bit I could have done with raised suspension. Otherwise, be okay. Come on, don't get stuck now. Earth is going on. Oh, it's just a giant ass rock. Of course it is. There we go. Huh. Not without its perils, but the uh, the GMC has actually done it, or almost done it. Bad links. Don't presume. You're not there yet. This has, this has definitely been an interesting voyage, that's for sure. You know, definitely been interesting. Ah. Nearly there, so close. A couple of bends. Yeah, I think we are definitely going to have to get another truck to tow this back to the uh, the fuel station because we are going to have no fuel left by the time we get to where we're going. None at all. possible. Quite as wide. Oh, man. Look at this. We've parked everything right in the way. Of course we have. 
And of course we've parked every other truck in the in the way. Uh Also, that is a hellish turn. Look at that turn I've got to make there. That is not nice. I do not appreciate that game at the final moments. Nor do I like it when the camera suddenly decides it's not going to turn that way. Okay, wide. Woo! Oh. Finito. Oh man, that felt good. No problem, but see you in a bit. Enjoy your pizza. Okay, so, the next thing, um, is this one, the multi-stage pump. <sighs> Are multi-stage pumps two or one slot cargoes? And is Flatlands the only place that I can get them? There they are. How big are they? That is a very good question. Um, is there any way to find out? Walker, actually. Oh, you did with the femme with the trailer. Ah, that sounds like they're a two-slot cargo. That very much sounds like it's a two-slot cargo. That's... That's not good. Um, hmm. uh, I wonder if I can multi-stack them? Also, what would be the best way to go? Is there... Could I go through Avario Hills, or is that just asking for trouble? I could go across here, and then around, around there, or does this does this road connect round to here? Maybe I don't know. Could I go? No, I think probably going through Pipeline would be the because then I can just come round, use the ferry to get across, and then just cut down this road and in. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go. Ah, uh, is that the one that's now locking all of this static pressure? Yeah. Pump it up. Is the cabin in the beams okay? Power lines, power lines two, power lines one, power grid. The power grid is static pressure. Yeah. So if I want to do um, this one, I need I need to do static pressure if I want to do pipeline. Hmm. else is available this is spring clean so cabin is in the beams it's in the water that's reactive anyway water monitoring I could do water monitoring but then again I don't really want to get into the um, pipeline ones until I can actually do all of the pipeline ones, you know? Reactive. Reactive. 
again. So some that's reactive. Space that's on. That can track. Then we can do the Vario to get D. drive though. That is quite a drive. There and back. I suppose I have the time for it. Do I have the fuel for it though? That's the kicker. I can't get multi-stage pumps anywhere else, can I? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I don't really want to have to drive all the way there. What vehicles do I have on this map? He has a five, which I still need to rescue. Zeke's. I wonder if I gave that a massive trailer. Yeah, I could drive that back down, go to the, tr uh, well, go to the garage, reconfigure, trailer store, get out a big trailer, and come down here and pick them up all on that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because then the FEM is still in the reactive zone in case we need it to do something else. I think that's probably going to be a much better solution. Well, ah, I'm blinded. Can't see a thing. Actually, get down on this hill without rolling it into a cliff. That would be fantastic. turn around here. Um, I think I'm just going as fast in reverse as I've been going in forwards anyway, so, you know, whatever. We'll switch our butt onto here, so we can turn around. Marvellous. <sighs> okay. They better be two slot cargoes when I get there. That's all I'll say. Whoa, uh, cliff edge, cliff edge. Ah, nice babe, you beat the case. Good job. Fun one that isn't it? Uh, Natalie is playing uh, Rain Code Detective in the other room on the Switch. Very kind of very very fun deduction based kind of kind of off the walls detective game. <laughs> I'm really hoping that they do a second one because I loved playing that the first time through. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, very well done game. Very stylized. By the same people that did uh, Danganronpan, actually. Same same company that did Danganronpan. Would recommend, by the way. Yeah, the title does kind of make you feel like there's more. 
Actually, the ending makes me feel like there's going to be more, but I won't spoil anything for you, babe. <laughs> Walker. <laughs> Natalie won't have a clue what you're talking about. Sorry to say. Um, <laughs> she, she will not understand that at all. But basically, I used, um, in, in layman's terms, babe, what Walker is saying there, is I used very first truck that you get in the game to deliver a trailer that was kind of larger than God. Um, so yeah, quite uh, quite the journey. <laughs> May as well been in Mandarin. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Natalie doesn't, uh, isn't as familiar with the technical terms of this game as we are, Walker. So, yeah, you've got to, you've got to spell it out a bit more for her. But yeah, it was, it was quite an impressive feat. Definitely quite an impressive feat. Shame I can't get the trailer I need right now, actually. But hey ho, no matter. Thirst quenching power of water. Oh, like that. Ah, oh, man. So, oh, actually, guys, <laughs> upside down smiley face. <laughs> yes, it, it it is indeed Walker. Um, I want to let you in on something, guys. A little uh, project that I've been brewing in the background. Um, recently, I my my love of Lego has been rekindled, shall we say? I mean, you know, maybe you kind of guessed guessed it from the the massive Lego ornithopter that's on my table over there uh, that I showed off a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I I've always loved Lego. And I've recently really gotten back into it in a big way. And I am planning something. Planning. Because a lot of people make Lego cities, you know, buildings, roads, and all that kind of stuff. Airports, train stations. A city, right? Made out of Lego. Diorama style, you know? Big beefy things. You see them on YouTube, though. People have been building them for 17 years and it spans half of their house sort of thing. Nothing quite that big on the cards just yet, but um, something that might actually interest you guys. I have been inspired by SnowRunner. I am going to be building a SnowRunner city. You know, I am, I am going to be building a SnowRunner city. So I'm gonna have, um, right, where's the low saddle? No, the high saddle I need. That's right. Uh, and a crane, we'll take a crane. Yes, so it's gonna be, uh, instead of being a cityscape, it's gonna be like a forest scape, trees and all that kind of stuff. And there's gonna be logging trucks and uh, all that kind of stuff all around. I haven't got many plans for it just yet. I've got plenty of ideas up here. Uh, still waiting on a lot of um, a lot of Lego to arrive. I've been doing some ordering and such things. So, you know, still plenty of that to come. Which region? Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be specifically basing it on a region, but I'm probably going to be taking inspiration from a lot of the uh, American maps, like uh, 
Michigan, Maine, um, probably Yukon, things like that. Um, anywhere that has like a heavy logging presence. Um, change that color. Um, have a nice green. Um, So anywhere that has like a massive logging presence in the snow run, it's gonna give some inspiration. But I've already got um, a few ideas of things I'm gonna build um, and stuff that I'm gonna do. Um, and I'm actually going to be starting at some point down the line a second YouTube channel that is specifically dedicated to it. Um, I don't plan on having any set kind of update schedule. Um, there's not like I, I won't be like like you know I stream twice a week sort of thing and videos get uploaded and all that kind of stuff. There's not going to be anything like that. It's going to be kind of as things happen. I'll do a video on it, um, and Natalie's going to help me with some editing and all that kind of stuff. Um, it won't be live streamed. But it will be kind of, you know, produced. There will be videos produced. There will be filming done behind the scenes and all that. Me and Natalie will work out how to best present it. Um, so that that is going to be coming at some point down the line. Um, so yeah, when, when I'm kind of ready to launch that, I will let you guys know. Um, I'm still, like I said, I'm still in the process of kind of preparing at the moment. Um, and even then, um, it'll probably take a while for a video to come out. I'll be doing quite a bit of building. But, you know, I'll keep you guys in the loop. And uh, when I get the channel up and running and uh, get everything sorted out for it, I will let you guys know. Thought you'd be interested in that, you know? Right. Yeah, I'm going to go and refuel before we go and get the trailer. Then head on over and get these pumps. Again, it's going to be quite a big mission. Oh, nice. Is that the Technic set? Uh, but yeah, I've seen that. That's quite a cool model. Um, but uh, yeah, it's mine is not going to be on that scale. Sadly, I would love to do it on that scale. That would be amazing. But like, I wouldn't have room for it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be doing like kind of standard Lego scale. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's still going to be good. It's still going to be very fun. Very much looking forward to getting started on it. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm waiting for things to arrive in the post. I have already purchased some things. Uh, let me show you guys, actually. There's a load! <laughs> that was an entire box of Lego. Uh, <laughs> bought that from someone on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and I've got some, some more bits from Lego and some other bits coming from other sources. Hopefully soon. I had to send a message off to uh, one of my eBay auctions because it said it was going to be here about three days ago and it still hasn't arrived so hopefully that arrives one does hope only issue I see with that is that it's been delivered by every and uh, mm. <laughs> don't like talking bad about companies but every is terrible used to be Hermes, I think. Um, and yeah, it's... They are utterly terrible. 
not had very good experience with them in the past, so I'm hoping they haven't lost it. <laughs> had to ask the seller for the tracking information. Right. Let's see. We want... Why not that one? We want... Super heavy trailer. Oh no, insufficient space. It's rather big. Oh, come on, me. Again. There we go. Uh, how am I going to make snow runner trucks out of Lego? Well, <laughs> I have. I actually. Um, there is a site called Rebrickable. And it allows people to upload their own Lego designs. And I've actually been scouring it for the past two weeks looking for um, like suitable model designs. And it actually, some of the trucks from SnowRunner, people have made and uploaded the plans for. So, you know, I'm... I, all I need to do is basically download those plans and then source the appropriate bricks for it and I can actually build some Snowra trucks which is going to be amazing. I have a few already in mind. Um, and obviously as things progress and I expand into bigger things uh, I'll add more of them. Uh, 1 to 100 designs. I think so. They're about 6 bricks wide. Um, which is a little bit bigger than um, some standard Lego stuff. Um, but yeah, they're, they're basically minifig scaled. Uh, so there are, like, you can put minifigs in and they look appropriate scaled for that. Um, so yeah, I think that's one of 100. Something like that. I know a lot of the Technic sets are like 1 to 20, stuff like that. Um, yeah. I think, I think 1 to 100 is probably about where we'll be. Yeah. It's uh, it's going to be fun. I'm I'm very much looking forward to it. To be fair, be great. Now, question here is: How am I going to get in and then out of this place with this trailer? I'm not going to be able to turn it round, that's for sure. I think I'll have to go round and into the bottom entrance and then come out the top. But so far this Zeke's is just having a blast towing this trailer. Very happy with how it's going so far. This will be the point where it'll sink and never to be found again or something like that. I hate it when I do that. I try to find a gear and I find every other gear. That's the gear I wanted. down first. The last thing I want to do is start having to do 
start having to do heavy manoeuvring. Um, this trailer once it's fully loaded. That would be, be not good. Go round. I shouldn't have been worried, the Zinx just pushes through everything. It is kind of, you know, the easy mode truck, really, in a way. Hey, Groot, nice to see ya. How you doing? Hey, nice. Nice, Walker. I'll have to check that out. Actually, speaking of expeditions, um, it comes out tomorrow, right, guys? And all being well, I will try and do a stream tomorrow. Um, two issues. One, I may end up doing, I may not end up having the time. Depends what we're actually doing tomorrow. I'm not actually sure if there's anything going on that I need to take care of. Um, but also, my Steam code isn't here yet. Um, and, yeah, obviously, I kind of need that in order to play. So, yeah, I, I, I tried to get a refund from the place that I bought it from because, you know, it's taking them so long to deliver it. Um, but... They said no refunds on digital codes. <laughs> it's like, oh great, okay, so I guess I've just got to wait. So I've basically got to wait, guys. And if I get um, my code tomorrow, then we'll do a stream. Nice, there we go. But if I don't, then what I'll probably do is an extra long stream on Sunday instead. But uh, I'll try and let you guys know as soon as possible. Um, which one of those is going to happen. I did buy... Yeah, Walker, I bought the one that includes the Year One Pass, which is supposed to include um, the um, Advanced Access. So I hope that my code comes for tomorrow. Probably get the code at midnight. That's kind of what I'm hoping. <clears throat> you know, I hope that I get it early in the day. And if that happens, then I will stick a message, um, yeah, on the, uh, on the Discord and let you know that the stream is going ahead. <coughs> I'll try and get that message out as soon as possible, by the way, you know, just so that you have some warning. What's that there? Aww. <laughs> Groot, you heard that farming sim is missing me a lot. I know. Farming sim... I do miss farming sim. I do miss farming sim. Um, we will return to it, you know? <laughs> we'll definitely return to farming sim at some point. Um, but at the moment, there's just so much to do, you know? I suppose I could do a farming sim stream next week. Maybe do an extra stream? Something like that? For a farming sim? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay. Come on now. Go on, big boy. Pull, pull. That's it. Fantastic. Yeah.
<laughs> 29 terabytes would be a challenge to download. Is that how big Expeditions is? Wow. That is that is quite a sizable. Ooh. Steady on, don't fall off now. Got, oh well, I suppose I do have a crane, don't I? I'm thinking I'm driving the other Zeeks that doesn't have a crane function. It does. Aha! For now, everything is still on board. Oh, right. Sorry. Chat's kind of rolling around so quickly, I look at it and very easily miss messages at the moment. So, right. Okay, so it's not. That was a typo. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, brief. 29 terabytes would actually be massive. In fact, a 29 terabyte game would not fit on my current hard drives. I've got a fair amount of space, but I certainly don't have that much space. Oh, cool, Groot! You did a, you've you've started doing like a vintage survive, a uh, vintage farming sim thing. That's actually kind of cool. Um. I know, um, do you watch Daggerwin? Uh, I know he does that. That's one of his many farming sim things that he does. Yes, Walker, that's right. So, yeah. So, technically, it should be coming out tomorrow. Um, or I should get my code tomorrow for uh, Expeditions. But uh, if I don't get it tomorrow, guys, as soon as I do get it, I will schedule a stream. You know? That's, that's kind of the plan. Um, unless that's Saturday, because I am busy on Saturday. Um, Natalie and I and some friends are going to a local... Comic Con kind of thing um, here in the place we live. Um, they do it each year. It's it's free, and uh, you know it's not massive. They don't have like special guests or anything like that, but they have like stalls and people dress up for it and all that kind of stuff. So it's quite a fun little event. So we're going to go to that on Saturday, and uh, and then we're going to go and see Doom Part Two. Which is also going to be rather fun. Reviews are positive. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not bad, you know. We actually um, we watched the first part when it came out. Um, however long ago that was, and recently we rewatched it um, with one of our friends who hadn't seen it. Um, and yeah, it's it's good, you know. I think myself and Natalie are still on, uh, of the opinion that David Lynch's Dune is probably slightly better. Um, but, you know, converting a, mo a, a book the size of Dune into a movie is kind of the same challenge as converting, like, Lord of the Rings into... Um, a book, you know, there's there's always going to be things you have to cut or miss out and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, yeah, you liked it better on a second on a second viewing. Yeah, that's right, babe. <laughs> hey, Decker, nice to see you. You missed. Let me tell you, you missed this chap doing the mad thing. Um, I was actually challenged by Walker to pull out the GMC and uh, do some do some missions with it. Um, and at that point in time, I had just accepted the mission to deliver the Stata trailer. Uh, so we delivered that with the GMC. <laughs> uh, so that was... Um, 
insane. You know? Right, how's our load? Is it still all on board? It is indeed. Oh. Uh, how long did that take? It didn't actually take that long. I think it took about half an hour? Something like that? Was it about half an hour, guys? Um, yeah, I think it was about half an hour. The The main issue with it... Uh, oh, yeah, of course, I've got to go round by the coast, haven't I, because of this rock fall. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the main issue was just getting through the mud outside the, the garage, you know, between the pipeline garage and the, uh, and the gateway into the reactive zone. Once I got it through there, the only issues I had was an occasional hang-up on a on a lamp post or something like that. Um, <laughs> still better than the Kenny. <laughs> actually, the Kenny might have actually been a very good truck for delivering the Stata, because uh, there's the the Kenny is a great vehicle, but it just does not do hills very well. Come on like the Zeeks here is not doing rocks very well. Um, yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh, I, I was talking about the 963. The big boy. The biggie boy. Biggie boy tank Kenny. It would have definitely been a very good choice because there's no hills. The 990? Can't comment. Haven't got it. Probably will get it eventually. Just so that I can test it out for, uh, you know, tier lists and such like eventually. So far, Bart, yeah, so far, this has been a um, kind of event transport, you know? An American Mastodon with a Gremlin engine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with the big Kenny, you know? I do actually want to like that truck a lot more than I do. Currently, maybe I should get, I should probably get it out of the garage again and give it another shot because I think the last time I used it was on British Columbia. Um, and I haven't used it since. Uh, so I should probably get the Kenny out of the garage at some point and give it a little go because it was a very very powerful truck you know just hates hills hates any kind of incline which is an issue because most maps have inclines but uh, this map is actually relatively flat so it might be a very good um, opportunity to try the Kenny out. <laughs> oh god, you guys in the gremlins. Deary me. Don't feed it. Don't, don't refuel it after midnight. Don't drive off cliffs into rivers. That's what I'm getting, right? go. We fuel from this generator here. Perfectly placed. Then I don't have to go down to the fuel station. We can immediately 
it up very perfect I forgot this thing has a little extra mini mini fuel tank on it as well completely forgot about that <laughs> Now, bigger question, how do I make this turn? Hmm. This is a bit of a tight one. Is everything all right? Oh, bit bouncy. Okay, okay, that was easier than expected. Walker, we mentioned that DLC truck earlier, um, but I think it was just yourself and possibly Bart that was here. Um, but yeah, the Atom is actually looking really good. I I am liking the uh, the look of the new Azov DLC truck. As I as I said earlier on, it it looks like it's going to be a slightly bigger Azov Six. And I like the Azov 6. I think the Azov 6 is a great vehicle. It's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, Decker, there's a, there's a new... <laughs> longest epilogue ever. <laughs> oh dear, babe. Never mind. Um... But yeah, there's a new uh, paid DLC Azov truck coming out. Um, now, where's going to be best to go? To go, maybe if I go through the trailer store here and then through this fence. I think that's probably going to be good, rather than trying to turn. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a new paid DLC truck that's coming out relatively soon, I think. I don't think we have a release date for it just yet, but it's certainly um, it's certainly shaping up to be a handy-looking vehicle. Um, from from first impressions, it looks like it's going to be a bigger, kind of more powerful version of the Azov 6. So maybe a little bit sluggish, hopefully not as sluggish, but certainly a little bit sluggish probably. Um, and it has some unique add-ons as well, which look rather nice. It has a three-slot cargo bed, and a unique maintenance frame. Oh, uh oh, we've, we've caught something. Something's attached. Uh, uh, ah, crap. Okay, got to back this up to gain a bit of a bit of space there. That's it. There we go. Just slap it round. Perfect. Yeah, Decker, that's a, a new trailer from this, um... Right, where are we going to go? That's a new trailer from uh, this expansion. Um, it's basically the, the wide five-slot trailer, but it's got three axles instead of two. Uh... <laughs> Super heavy-duty trailer. Yeah, no kidding, right? Right, so I think what I'll do is I'll get to here, and then I'll come across here, and up and into the gateway from there. I think that'll be my best bet. Now you see, what, what they've made, they've made this trailer, right, out of rubber. 
That's why it's so bendy. Just I don't know. Much bendy. Very flex. Wow. I am definitely going to have to bring some fuel down to the uh, to the generator plant, nuclear plant, because I'm going to end up with just a fleet of vehicles down there that have no fuel. <laughs> Ooh, a half truck Deckerson. That's an intro. Actually, we don't have any tracked vehicles in this game. That is. That is. I mean. Probably because it's trucks more than tanks, but yeah, like a half track would be an interesting vehicle. Maybe do something kind of yar sized. Actually, you, you could do a variation on the yar where its two rear tyres are tracked. You know, that, that would be an interesting addition to the game. I think so, anyway. That would be very interesting. Certainly for uh, some situations. Too powerful. Maybe, Bart. Maybe. Maybe that would be too powerful. It is a game about, about conquering mud. And, you know, tracks are amazing for conquering mud. So, yeah. Maybe it would be a bit too much. But you never know. They did give us the burlap. And then, you know, they gave us the femme. <laughs> and the and the and the big Kenny, you know, it's um if they're trying not to give us huge trucks, then they're not doing a very good job about it. <laughs> like overpowered trucks. You know, they're 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 not doing a very good job at not giving us those things. I mean look at this thing. This this Mastodon is honestly ridiculous. Just like, yep, I'll I'll drive through here, not a problem. Watch me. Hold my beer. <laughs> you know, they've kind of painted themselves into a corner with that, you know, Bart, because they have given us so many just insane trucks already. It's kind of like what are they going to give us next? They can't give us anything less powerful by too much because then it just won't get used, you know? And we'll all be like, well, those trucks are pointless, you know? But at the same time, if they keep, you know, power creeping everything, then that's no fun either. like an actual arctic region would be amazing Decker. that uh, that would be good Ooh, hey look it's for the first time it's actually struggling First time it's actually struggled.
this whole trip. Oh, Italian small streets. Oh my god, that could be amazing because that would force you to use small scouts. And, and like, scout flatbed trailers to deliver cargo. That could actually be incredibly fun. You know, where you're forced to, to not in the positions where you can't use these big beefy trucks. You have to use smaller vehicles. That could also be a lot of fun. Make it through the gateway okay? Uh, yes it did. And we still have all four of our cargo. Okay. Now go off-road. Don't actually know if it's quicker or not. I think just to keep it simple, I'm just going to follow the same route round. Just, uh... <laughs> it's, uh, I, I think just for speediness sakes, you know? I'm still going to struggle getting it past those diggers. It's two uh, JCB excavators in the way, even if I do follow the main road. Where does that track go? Just out of curiosity. Oh, uh, yeah, probably not the best way to take a... That's, ooh, yeah, that's way too curvy. That's way too curvy. I would like to kind of go that way, but that's... I'm just going to get the trailer jammed between trees and spend the rest of the stream digging it out. And there's other things I'd like to do. <laughs> get this mission done. Then, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go back to pipeline straight away or whether I'm going to go to uh, try and do some more missions here on reactive zone. Either way, we're still going to probably have maybe oh, not, about 35-40 minutes by the time we get this cargo delivered. It's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Hazard approaching. What I actually need to do, I need another generator. That's one thing I do need, guys. I'm going to have to get another generator taken out to the uh, cabin factory on the pipeline. We're going to have to start producing some cabins. Need some cabins. How many cabins we actually need for missions? I, I, I doubt we're going to need enough cabins to warrant a fuel tanker as well as a generator at the cabin factory. You know? I don't think we're going to need that many cabins. Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh. Easy turn to make. 
cradle like this. It's getting stuck between things, isn't it? So. Oh, oh wait, no, that was the wrong kind of turn entirely. the rubber. Be rubber. Bend. There we go. Ah. Oh. Rubber trailer strikes again. <laughs> yeah, no need to be subtle, Bart. Just, just raw dog it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Decker, yeah, yeah, I do remember that Yukon mission. Um, actually, I I remember hearing about it, but I don't think I ever suffered it myself, because um, when Yukon was released, I think I was still playing Amoa. No, Imandra. Lake Cove. Was I still on Lake Cove when Yukon came out? I think I was. In fact, no, I wasn't even on Lake Cove when Yukon came out. Because when did when did hard mode launch? Was hard mode launched with Lake Cove with the year one pass? I think hard mode launched with the year one pass, didn't it? In which case, I would still have been probably in Pamir or Alaska or something like that when Yukon came out. Um, I did a good job catching up, I will say. Hard mode launched with Phase 4. Wow! Is it really that late? Grief. Wow, I really did do well catching up then. <laughs> Goodness me, I played through every single region in order. Still managed to catch up. That must have When did I actually catch up? What was the region that I finished and finally said we have nothing left to do? It must have been like five or six. I think it was Maine. But well, I remember starting Tennessee, Phase 7, when that released. Maybe it was something like that. Oh, I've made a bad choice there. Okay, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's twice now it's done that. Cut out on me. Ah, oh, man. Right. Let's get these pumps delivered and see what happens. See, look, I'm, I'm building a fleet down here now, but still don't have any fuel for them, so... Three and four. 
Fantastic. Pipeline energy generation. Ha ha! How about that? So that should now have... That's open power grid. Yeah, there we go. Power grid, fantastic. Three metal beams, four fuel, three more metal beams, and then deliver the coiled tubing semi-trailer. Where's that thing at when it's at home? Go back over to pipeline and we'll have a look here. Wait. Where's the drop off? Ah, over here. Right, okay. So we need six metal beams and four fuel. And then the loading dock is here. Where's the coiled tubing trailer? I remember seeing one on this map somewhere. Unless it was like tucked away over here somewhere. No. I don't remember it on here, so maybe it's on the reactive cell. Any coiled tubing trailer around here per chance, maybe? Should be able to see it. There's a curtain side trailer. That needs to be delivered. No doubt at some point. That's a trailer with a boiler on it. It's not that. That's a fuel trailer. That's a water trailer. Remember there being a coiled tubing trailer on Flatlands? Was there? I don't think there was, was there? Hmm. Hmm. I'm curious. I am not sure where that coiled tubing trailer even is. I don't think I've even seen it yet. What about here? Nothing here? Nope, nothing there. Yeah, I have no idea where that is actually, that, that coiled tubing trailer. But uh, we'll no doubt find out at some point. It would actually be handy to know because then I could have a truck on standby. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? Unless that's on Avario. I really hope it isn't on Avario, because that's going to suck. Down here, maybe? Any big trailer down here? Nope. I suspect it will be in a location like that, you know. It's not going to be too tucked away. What about up here? Nope, nothing there. Oh well, okay, no matter. So that's that, which will then allow us to do... Oh, another coiled tubing semi-trailer. In a row? Coiled tubing semi-trailer, which then unlocks power lines one, which is another coiled tubing semi-trailer. Huh. I wonder if that's the same one. No, it can't be. In the reactive zone on the reactive factory. So, that sounds like it's down here somewhere. Not 
can't see it. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Boom, right there. Right there. You know what truck I have to take care of that? GMC. <laughs> It's already done one big haul, it could do another one quite handsomely, but I'm going to need some more fuel, that's for sure. Um, right, okay, well, we shall, what have we got time-wise now? 27 minutes, well, 27 minutes, so about, yeah, about half an hour, they're about... Maybe we should just do a few tasks, start clearing up some of the tasks. So, flatbed semi-trailer with the industrial boiler, that goes there. Okay. Lost shipment, two special cargoes. Ah, those are the ones in the hill. Okay. So we need a crane for that. Two spare parts, deliver to there. Deliver the Hummer to there. Favor, sideboard semi trailer here. <laughs> it's just one coil tubing trailer, but good news you can keep the trailer. Ah! So it hands in for one mission and then you've got to take it somewhere else, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Three hay bales. That's. Bales are in the mountains now? What is this craziness? Actually, that could be quite a fun one to do. I do have the perfect truck for that. Put that on the track. Turn 14. Deliver and repair the yard. Large service scout trailer. Deliver one of those. Okay. Uh, let's... this guy up then in that case and uh, we'll just make a wee little let's see can I actually see these hay bales They're obviously around here somewhere are they all relatively close to each other or are they absolutely miles away Anything that resembles a hay bale within this circle. What does the mission say? We need to move some hay trees and force the railway truck to trash the solid bales to decorate the hills by the river. We gather them back up. Okay, so they are definitely in the hills, but where exactly? But let's head over. Uh, we head over this way, over to the farm, and then we can head up here. Let's go for a little rumble. I haven't used the Tega B for quite a while, actually. Ah, okay, I see them on the map now. Straight ahead. Hill are they? That is the question. Oh, crikey, that's a a, a hole. Good grief. Okay, that is a drainage ditch. Didn't even see that. Goodness me. I can actually work out where these are now. 
kind of maybe this way. Ah, oh, I see him. I see him. One, two, three, right there. So yeah, we need to go round here, round here, and then we need to go down here in order to get them all. Okay. Should be fun. <laughs> it says. Should be fun. I think for the big missions, guys, I'm going to have to get myself a fuel truck for this map, take it down to the um, to the factory, just so that uh, I can refuel the vehicles down there, because the GMC is empty. If I'm going to use that to deliver the coiled tubing trailer, then, uh, <laughs> yeah, good luck. So, I'll need to get everything refueled. Right. What are you saying there? Uh, wait, you use that truck. I think I did. I think I used it on Scandinavia, this truck. Um, can't quite remember. Ooh. But that is not a bad idea. The P12 with a large maintenance frame and. Uh, Wheel trailer. That's actually a really good idea. I like that. These hay bales. Would you ever think bringing them down this road would be a good idea? Like seriously. This isn't a road. It's a dirt. It's a. It's a cliff face. It's an actual cliff. Use the Freightliner. Oh my lord. For this mission? That's uh that's kind of brave walker, I will say. That is that is a brave brave move, that's for sure. Pack those two first. Oh, you're going to pack that way? Why don't you pack like... Um, never mind. Okay. Uh, put this one on the, on the, on the bonnet here, I think. roof. Yeah, let's put it on the roof. This is not going to work. This is 
not working how I envisioned it. Don't have the reach. Okay, that might have to do. Lord. How do I get out of here? Um, actually, wait, how, how, how did I, oh no, the road's up there, oh no, oh, I'm gonna have to reverse, to reverse up this hill, because I actually didn't come down the road, I did actually come down the cliff. Because it looked like a road. Oh well. Thankfully, the reverse gear on this thing is nice and powerful. Whoa, 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 you little rascal. Not... No. Bad. Level yourself out. Oh, goodness me, that gave me a scare for a moment. Oh. Problem is, I'm not getting the steering angle that I want because I'm having to go backwards. Um, let's go that way. Let's go that way. Won't you just go? No, not the menu. Camera, please. No, not that menu. The camera, please. Too far over to one side. I keep hitting these rocks and it bounces me in the wrong direction. Right. That's it. That's it. Just needed some power. Oh. Some new heart medication. Good grief, man. Okay. Turn around. I turn around here? Is the game going to punish me if I try and turn around here? No, 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 no. The camera. Okay. Oof. I think we're actually good. There we go. Oh. Whoa. Right. Good stuff. going to be fun because this turn is not nice. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. That is much better. Oh, ah. oh the hay bale's gone. Hay bale's gone. Get back up here, you. Come on. Get. Now it's all soggy. What am I going to tell the farmer now? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I dropped your hay bale in a lake. Okay. Kind of perfect. <laughs> Good enough, I think, is the... Uh... The optimal phrase for that. was a more harrowing experience than I thought it was going to be. Walker, yes. It's like, yeah, what what why are you why is your hay in a ravine next to the river? It's like, oh, I don't know. Right, um Is there a trailer store on this map? That's a good point. Um there is no That's kind of annoying, because that means if I'm going to bring a vehicle with a trailer over to get fuel, I'm going to have to bring the trailer from the next map, and then come through to this map in order to fill them up, and then take them... Ah, oh, ah, oh, I smell much logistical nightmares, I tell ya. Ah, right. How are we doing progress now? 53%. Okay, we have chalked off another 5% there. It's good going. It's good going indeed. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Um, maybe 5-10 minutes earlier than I would usually finish, but I don't really have anything good that I can start now and finish. You know? Um, so, I think we'll just leave it at th there for now and uh, for next time let's see if I can sort out some of the logistical nightmares that I've gotten myself into um, speaking of next time though guys all being well um, I'll be announcing a expedition stream tomorrow at some point uh, so keep an eye out for that that's going to be an extra stream uh, for expeditions, providing everything is all right with my code uh, coming through. So, providing that comes through and I can get the game installed and downloaded and all that kind of stuff in time, then there will be a stream tomorrow. Going forwards, 
Uh, we're probably going to do a couple of weeks of expeditions, probably uh, tomorrow and Sunday, and then probably Wednesday and Sunday of next week we'll do expeditions just so that we can, you know, dive into it properly, have a good, have a good crack at it, uh, and see what uh, see what the crack is with that, and then we'll cycle back into a. Uh, we'll cycle SnowRunner back into the mix and we'll do Expedition and SnowRunner kind of, uh, back and forth. So, that about does it for now. Hmm. I'm going to go and get myself some food and then see what Natalie wants to do with the rest of the evening. Uh, and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. So, like I said... Keep an eye on the Discord. All being well, expeditions tomorrow. Exciting. So, until then, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, and as always, take care, stay safe. Catch you next time. Bye for now.